Where's the gloves? In the box over there. Y'all were supposed to bring your own gloves if you had them, guys. They're not going to fit half of you. Yes, go, go, hurry up. Wait, is that, did we only have three scheduled? Yeah, ten o'clock. Yeah. You can choose tennis balls if you don't uh, play gloves. One person brought his glove. One person out of all of them. That's something. It's that cone back there. And what we're going to be working on is ground balls. Hold on here, let me get my glove. It is important to get here early so you can kind of get yourself mentally ready for what, what you're going to do. And the uh, difference between <laughs> fielding off the pitcher's mound and fielding off of uh, second base is on the pitcher's mound, you're gonna stay square with the ball and just let it come into you. Here, can you give me a roll? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna field it and if it can't get through you, because if it gets through you, runner gets on base and that's on you. And as a pitcher, you can't let this guy get on base. All right? Now, Let's go meet up at the pitcher's mound up here. <laughs> Alright, that's going to be the rubber right there. And we're going to work on short hops here. And this one is the only drill you would actually catch the ball and short hop. Now, which primarily do is either attack it or sit back to get it out of the short hop. Uh, can I get someone up there? Alright. It's good. Can't let it get past you. Alright, next. Act like uh give an act like you're pitching the ball. Just, yeah, act like you just get done your wind up. All right, good, it's good. All right, now I can't get past you. Can't get past you. Feel it, feel it. You can go again if you want. Uh, hey, don't put your glove, uh, hand down in your glove until you get the ball now. Okay. It's a habit. Old habits die hard. Okay. Hold on a second. Who's teaching baseball next time? Anybody teaching baseball next time in this group? Okay. It, I mean, it, it helps if people bring their gloves. You still have gloves? You got rid of your gloves. Yeah. Let me move my camera. Hey, stay in front of it now. Is 
you feel the ball. You run. <laughs> run. You feel the ball. But if you call bag, 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 you're gonna run that to the line and up it still. Ball, ball, ball. You know, if you were great at this, we wouldn't need practice. That's why there's practice. You're not perfect yet. Just get close to perfect, right, Bo? I can tell who's played and who has not played. That's pretty obvious. Uh, I, I'll just say this. You look better than the volleyball people over there. Hey, try to give your call as early as possible. So, so that first baseman knows what to do. Here we go. Hey, can you watch the first four? Can the first, can the first baseman call it too? Yeah. The first baseman's supposed to give a return call of what the pitcher calls. So if the pitcher calls ball, 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 the first baseman calls bag, bag, bag. The bag is, he stays on the bag and he touches the I don't know. But when it comes to us, we say ball. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, right, yeah. Oh! Anyone want to? He's going to go get the balls. We better get these balls picked up. That's all I. Don't lose my balls. Back, back, back. Good job, good job. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, man. That's okay. Gives us a little humor. You know. <laughs> yeah, half the fun is making fun of your peers. You know, you gotta, can't take life too seriously. Ooh, it's getting hot out here. I gotta make up. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I video uh, Nick and Ben. <laughs> I feel bad just falling on camera. Ball, ball. I've never played like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can't get to the ball, call back. Yeah, bad, and you gotta go back first. Back, back, back. Well, you helped me get a, a team sports class put in the curriculum. Yeah, most of it. <laughs> After I've watched our basketball yeah. class, right. I thought, oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna move on to fielding. Fielding double plays. And this will be our last Difference time. between hey, can I see my glove? Difference in fielding uh, double plays and uh, just the gut, getting the guy at out at first is at first you want to stay square to the ball, but while fielding the double play, you want to time it in the hop and get it to where your momentum's going to second to make that play as fast as possible. Now, if you see an ugly hop coming at you, you're going to want to stay square with it. That way you don't miss the ball, causing everyone to be safe. All right, can we get a guy up here? We don't need a guy at second because we're just going to go through the drill and just act like we're throwing it to second here. Need a left-handed glove? Okay. Most kids can't understand instructions, only about five in the whole team. Mm -hmm. So some kids will go, the other kids will get it when they watch. Yeah, yeah. that's me. Good job, good job. So that's why they're instructions. Yeah, exactly.
This is his thing. So you should be able to teach your thing. Yeah. Huh? But it's not just explaining it and demonstrating, it's also picking up the errors that the kids are doing yeah. with it and, and yeah. correcting them without making them feel this hot. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What do you say, square on an ugly hot? Uh, try it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, on a hop like that, remember you want to be facing second base. That way you can make a quick play. Yeah, I can't play baseball. I need to learn to catch with the glove. It was. It was convenient that he's left lefty. Huh? <laughs> we wouldn't have had a glove. A lefty, a lot of lefties in this class. <laughs> it is scary. Oh, 